Welcome to Media Animal TV. I'm at a prestigious cat show and we're going to meet a judge and find out exactly what type of things he looks for when he's judging a cat. We'll also find out what it takes, what traits you need to be a top cat judge. My name is Ern Fuller. Um, I'm an Albridge cat judge with Ancats. To be eligible for a judge to get, get into the judge's course, we have to have bred five litters. The cats are in three groups. We have the long hairs, we have the Siamese orientals, and we have the other short hairs. We do a, an assignment on every breed of cat. Each cat is, it has its own standard, so and a standard is like a blueprint. So it tells us where their ears have to be, what eye shape they have, what their eye colour is supposed to be like, what their bones are, how their bones are supposed to be, the shortness of their back, you know, the length of their tail, the, the type of coat. Can you just explain what the judge would be looking for today if he were judging Mufasa? Fine. The first thing we're going to look for is a blunt wedge. It's the shape of the, the head here, the muzzle. Okay. It's a nice, smooth, Profile. Oh, okay. And then on the nose, here. no breaks, no stops. Onto the ears, placement yes. and furnishings. Placement and furnishings. So you're looking for the fur inside the ear. So okay. the lynx tips are only desirable, but they do look nice. They do look very pretty. Okay. Being a semi-long hair, the hair or the fur is shorter on the shoulder than on the body. Oh. Check for the boning. Now we'll have a look at the length of the body. Okay. How do we do that? Right. If you place your hand under the chest and then in the back here, to the back legs, lift the cat and stretch it out. So I'm looking for the, no, oh around sorry, around the other it. way? Yep. I'm looking, Under here. oh sorry okay. Mr. Duffer. Oh yes, he likes it when you do it. <laughs> his tail on. has to be long enough to, to come oh, round when he's lying down to wrap round his nose. To wrap round his nose. And it wants to be plumy. In other words, give it a shake. Give it a shake. It's pluming up. Yes, lovely. And finally, we look for that coat, the colour and the pattern and the bullseye. And I've noticed you use, is this to stimulate the cat? Yeah, a teaser. A te oh, it is called a teaser, yeah. is it? And Can I have a go? Yep. Oh, Good boy. well. Good boy. Now, you see how the ears have gone forward a little? Yes, what does that mean? That gives mean? you a good idea of placement. And they're well furnished. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning. You need to be very diplomatic. You need to be able to put your colour preferences and your breed preferences to the background so that you are putting up the cats that are closest to, to what the standard says they should be. But then it's also a, a bit of a personal choice. You know, some people might think the head shape's probably more important. Others might think the body shape or the size is more important. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's wonderful. Like you can come to a show like this with five judges and five judges put up five different cats and all of them nice ones. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that story. Don't forget to check out all the other awesome Australian animal stories at mediaanimal.tv. Thank <laughs> you.